In previous videos, we learned that we can affect the reaction rate by changing the concentration, the temperature, or the physical state of the reactants. However, it's not always feasible to do any of these things. There is one more factor that can affect a reaction rate, and that's the addition of a catalyst. A catalyst is a species that's used in an early step of the reaction, and it's reformed in a later step. Generally, we do not see the catalyst in the overall equation. In general, catalysts work by ensuring that the reactants are in the proper orientation in order for a reaction to take place. How do catalysts really affect rate? Catalysts work by providing an alternative mechanism in which the rate determining step has a lower activation energy than the uncatalyzed reaction. Let's think about the reaction of ozone in the atmosphere. Ozone can react with monatomic oxygen to produce two oxygen molecules. This would deplete the protective ozone layer around the Earth. Fortunately, this reaction has a very large activation energy, so we have a fairly stable protective ozone layer. However, monatomic chlorine or chlorine atoms from chlorofluorocarbons can act as catalysts to this reaction. They can do this in a series of steps. In the first one, the monatomic chlorine reacts with the ozone to produce ClO and O2. The ClO would then react with monatomic oxygen to produce the chlorine atom again and another molecule of O2. So overall, we still have the ozone reacting with monatomic oxygen to produce 2O2, but we have the chlorine acting as a catalyst in this reaction. We could also look at catalysts in terms of an energy diagram. We see with a blue line that the activation energy for ozone reacting with monatomic oxygen is reasonably high. However, we see in red the catalyzed reaction, which is a two-step process, and the first step, the rate determining step, has a much smaller activation energy and therefore is a much faster reaction that ends up breaking down the ozone in the atmosphere. When we look at this mechanism, we can also identify an intermediate, and this is useful to distinguish between a catalyst and an intermediate. You should recall that a catalyst is used in an early equation and reproduced in a later equation, whereas the reaction intermediate is formed in an earlier step and then consumed in a later step. In this reaction, the ClO is the reaction intermediate and the Cl is the catalyst. After watching this video, you should be able to identify a catalyst in a mechanism. You should also be able to describe how a catalyst affects reaction rates. Finally, you should be able to distinguish between catalyzed and uncatalyzed reactions in an energy diagram.